Have I passed my cup on to you? <laughs> yes, you have. I'm sorry. I've still got mine, so <laughs> you've got another couple of weeks, yeah. <laughs> it's just so aggravating. It's just like tickly it's there all the time. All the time, I know. But hey ho, enough of me whinging. How are you today? <laughs> all right. Apart from wet. Yeah, oh, it seems to be awful weather. Oh, yeah. It'll be summer soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, did you do your post lesson reflection? I did. Let's have a look at what we thought. I always forget where it is. Super do I think you. So, enjoyed the freedom again? Good, good. And keen to learn a new gear. Good. Something that's a big achievement going backwards. <laughs> Seems to be today. Big achievement. I've gone backwards. And instead of going forwards. It, but you've seen how different it is. And I know that it is, it is something that people do worry about because it's you know you're going to be assessed on it. Yeah. So you know what speed is appropriate when reversing. How to judge where the car is. Brilliant. What you like to do better, I feel about reverse around the corner, but a right corner and more and more practice. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's something a ten and a ten again. So that tells us that we're we're making progress in the right way. I think. So how about a? So that was our provisional plan today was to perhaps do a right hand corner. Yeah. Um, and then, what did we say? Well, there's lots of options. Let's, let's remind ourselves. So we can do the, the right hand reverse. We could then move on to just do the other manoeuvres, like um, turn of the road, bear park, that kind of stuff, reverse park. Or we could drop back across here and start down this route. Um, it doesn't really matter which way. Um, so you don't need all your manoeuvres before you start doing them anymore? You don't. I mean, we've, we've kind of put them... In, in this skills diagram, in where we think is an appropriate skill level, but there's nothing to stop you once you've started down this route to just continue down there and finish all of them off. Now, I know that some learners like to do that because then you've got all of them boxes ticked. And because these are things that people worry about. Um, obviously, you know, I mean, I know you needn't worry about it because I know you've got great clutch control, so you, it, it should be okay. But we can co happily continue down that route. That's not a problem if that's if that's something you'd like to do. Or we can do some of that and some of that, or just switch over. What would here. be this next one on this? Next one here really is is crossroads. Um, now because of where we're located here, um, we don't have a lot of crossroads. Um, so it's it's you know there's only I think there's only four maybe five sets of crossroads in the whole town, uh, and they're all reasonably reasonably basic. We could. Let me run this past you, see if you think this is an alley. We could just go down this route, and then when we come back to this, we could link that in with kind of busier junctions. Yeah. So we could do all those crossroads, I don't know, perhaps as a, a set of targets for next time, or we can just continue down this road. Continue down You'd like to go the manoeuvre route? Yeah. Well, we'll do that. Um, reverse to the right is not something you'll do that often. Um, and you think of any reason why you might do it. I thought you'd do left and right. So. Well, you can be assessed on it, but it's it's very rare to get a right hand reverse. Why? Because of the road. Yeah. Well, it's we, well, yeah. let's let's have a little look at how the how the thing works. So we're reversed into the to the left here. We're only really in the way of traffic coming this way, um, and we've got a good view. So obviously, if we were reversing to the right, mm -hmm. we'd be reversing like that. Well, you drive past it and then reverse back in. But can you see why that might be a bit more awkward? Any idea? Say that again. So you, you drive. Excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> you know when when we did the reverse to the left, we drove past the corner and then reverse back around, mm -hmm. just like that. To reverse to the right, you'd be coming up this road, and you'd cross to the other side of the road and then reverse in to the right that way. Oh, I'm really confused. So what would I do? Okay, so what we did, I'll turn it that way. It probably makes more sense the right way up. Mm -hmm. So when we did our reverse last week, we drove past the corner. Yeah. and then reversed in there. A reverse to the right, you're coming up the road this way, you go there and reverse into this side of the road. In that side of the road though. Mm. So it's it's a little bit more, you're in more people's way. I was gonna say. Uh, and when you're properly in the way, reversing to the right. The reason you would do it um, is if you had limited view to the back to the side here. So if you're driving something like say a van, it's much easier to keep control of it because coming around here because you can't see out this side yeah this gives you a bit more control because you could even pop your head out the window if you wanted to because in a van you've only got a view left and right not necessarily to the back although sometimes you do mm -hmm. um it's something we like to teach an awful lot of driving schools don't teach it because it's very rare you're going to use it but it's a nice set so of you're skills not to be have. On the test, then. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. It is it's possible, but it's I've never had it in 24 years in this row. I've never had anybody do a right hand reverse. But it's a useful skill to have, because you never know, someday you might be driving a van. We all move house, we do that kind of thing. And if you get lost in that van, you know, while you're looking for the new house, then reverse to the right is probably easier to do than a reverse to the left because you've got a better visibility with a yeah. van doing it that way. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. But as you can see, we're in more people's way. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we might need to do because of that? Oh no. Keep a better look at. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'd have to check around much more often. Um, right. And there's more chance of having to abort this manoeuvre because you are in so many people's way. But so there's very slight chance that we'll even be able to get to do it just because of how many people. Circumstances, yeah. I mean, obviously, what we're going to do, we'll go back to the corner that we used before because it's very quiet. Um, but it, it's, it's again nailing down the control skills and the observation skills. and. Uh, you've got to think a little bit more this time, you know, we always talk about the location, is it safe, legal and convenient? Well here, you've got to take more things into consideration because you are crossing to the wrong side of the road, you're reversing in on the wrong side of the road. You've then, when you're finished, you've got to get back to your side of the road. So you need to be further back mm. to not be in the way of the junction. Does that make sense? Yeah. Should we have a bash at it? Yeah. Okay. Get yourself comfy. Get Oh, oh. I forget whereabouts I am. Take your time, get yourself comfy. So if I'm, I'm just thinking if I go to, I'll be like that, won't I? Yes. So I'd be, would I be looking like that? It well, you'd be. look that way while you're going a straight line, but when you're going around the corner, you'd be looking over that shoulder because that's where the curb is near. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have a chat about it when we get there. You're, it's, I think it's easier to explain once you're in the location, or it's easier to see why things happen. <laughs> I always take my time on this bit. Well, it's, it's, it's so important to do that, you know, because if, if you haven't got it quite right, it can affect all sorts of things. You know, if your seat's not exactly it, right... You can just stop it and start doing it, can you? <laughs> no, I'd rather we didn't. <laughs> okay. So if we go to the end of the road and turn left... <gasps> Sorry. It's all right. What caused that, do you think? I let off clutch too quick. There you go. So left at the end of this road, please. And it's particularly depressing when the rain's like this, isn't it? It's just <laughs> constant. Just a bit quick, that's fine. That was that. It was all right, wasn't it? Smooth, yeah. It was. After a bloody stall in it. Doesn't matter. It's <laughs> neither here nor there. so jerky today. What do you think might have caused that? I'm just being too confident with it. It's all right. No, it's not necessarily. It doesn't... This much difference in the clutch pedal can create a stall. Can we go left at the end of this one, please? Have you driven anything else in between? What do you mean? Another car. No. Because that can sometimes cause it. No, it can't. <laughs> Oh. Am I too pokey out? Um, no, we're about right, aren't we? Because oh. we need to be so creeping sorry. forward here. It's okay. So, take a deep breath. We're just in a hurry. Mm -hmm. So, we'll have a chat about that in a second. Let's take your time, get yourself sorted out, pull around the corner, find a convenient place to pull over. It's this hill bit that's So, what can you do to cure that, do you think? Take my handbrake off and try and work it. Just gently. Just take your time with everything. That's well held. 
pretty much like that. Except I shouldn't really roll back. <laughs> you only roll back a teeny tiny amount and you adjust it. So, once we get down the road a bit here, let's find a convenient place to pull out. We'll have a chat about that. It's, it's completely fine. Everything that happens like that is what we call a learning trigger. So, you can discover things. Um, doing things right doesn't necessarily give you the opportunity to learn. Mm. When mistakes happen, we can have a look at, okay, well, why did that happen? What might we do different? Then we can learn from it. Cool, yes, it? yeah, somewhere along here will be fine. I'll let you decide the location. So, but let's, let's work our way back. At the, at the junction there, you rolled back a little bit, but what did you do? Held it. You did. You adjusted and got it right straight away. Um, I think I'm just going too quick. So, that's it. So, doing things a little slower might allow you a little bit more time. So, if we look at why are we hurrying today? All sorts of things might come into play. What sort of morning have you had? Have you been dashing about all morning? I've been rushing this morning, yeah. <laughs> so look at the impact that has. It's it's interesting just to analyse these things sometimes because things happen for a reason. So cold light or rushing. It's always a bad start of the day, isn't it? Mm. And it carries on. It's like I often find over the years, if you turn up early for a lesson. The pupils like in the having the last cup of tea before I leave the house. They say, "Oh, he's here!" So you start dashing about, and what I've found is nearly every time that carries on into the lesson because you force the pupil into hurry mode. Yeah. <laughs> so it just carries on. So things always happen for a reason. But what we can do is we can we can learn from that. So let's have a look at how that is now. You know, so let's say you were going to go for a job interview, and you were thinking, "Oh, God, I've got to get going." Somebody rings. You end up leaving the house at the last minute. Yeah. You start rushing. What happens to you then? You just in panic. Things start to go wrong. Yeah. What does that do to your mood? Stresses you. That's right. How is that going <coughs> to impact on when you get to the interview? You're not it could be like, yeah, yeah. And it, so, what might you do if let's let's say that was the scenario? And you were, you know, you were in that rush, and things started. Oh God, what could you do? Take five minutes. Yeah, you be might arrive slower. a little bit later, but you'd be in a calm mood when you got there and be able to explain yourself. So it's it's really it's important that we, like like I said, it's a learning trigger. So by analysing that, you can think, oh, yeah, I can see how that happened, and it gives you a, a strategy to cope with it if it happens again. It's all about, mm -hmm. which is why it's never a problem if things go wrong. <laughs> That's what we have. Yeah. So, off we go again. What will we do different? Try and be slower. Okay. Let's try that and see how it works. Loving the observation. Back up my blink. There you go. That's it. Good. that corner but uh, it doesn't look like it's available. I want to change the gear. I'm going to take that. Okay. Don't want to do it around the corner. Good, well done. So once you've got yourself in a position where you feel comfy to do it. That's it, well done. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, that's perfectly fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What about these corners? No, <laughs> They're not really... <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little bit awkward, aren't they? And of course, there's parked cars all around them, so 
because we're in the way, we're, we're limiting the, the room for people to get so through. so different driving in rain like this. Isn't it just? It's, you can feel it. It's strange, isn't it? Well, there's noise, uh, which is a distraction. And if we go to the left at this, this junction, Was the bend effect things. We're not going to see who's coming. That's it. But it, that, that might be usable. Tell you what, let's go all the way around the roundabout and back down this road and we'll have a look. See what it looks like coming from the other direction. Oh, now how annoying is that? <laughs> what can you do? Going round so all the way around and back down the road we can do. There's not a lot you can do if people aren't going to signal try. He was signal like he was coming round and then changed his mind at the last second. But he did the right thing and waited. We never trust anybody else, do we? Because no. what are they trying to do? It's killers. Yes. <laughs> So this is the corner we can maybe think about using. Mm -hmm. So what we would need to do is drive past and then reverse back into the right. <coughs> drive past the corner, other side of the road. That's it. Um, and again, you'll position yourself so that you're going to manoeuvre when I'm parking up. Do you think it's okay to do it here? What do you reckon? We've got a bit of local knowledge here because it's close to where you live. It's on a little bit of a bend, uh, but how busy is this road? So we know that we're not going, going to encounter an awful lot of traffic. And of course, once we get on the that side of the road, how good is we going to be with that? Alright. Oh, so it's it's somewhere we can think about, uh, about using. So we're over here. I've had the right picture. So we're here, and we're going to go past, reverse in, and back out. So it's an, an exercise to turn the vehicle if it's in the direction. How far past do you think we might need to go? But that wind's getting really heavy, isn't it? Um, enough far past so if anybody's coming round then they're not going to smash them too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is the correct answer. <laughs> and then, what sort of corner is it? Is it tight like that one, or is it a rounded one, or is it... Quite rounded, isn't it? It is, so similar to the one we used last week, so how much steering do you think you might need? Not a lot. Yeah, and as we're coming back, where are we going to be looking? Everywhere. What are we looking for? On coming that way, coming that way. Anything yeah, else? Yep, yeah, good. What sort of people and things are we looking for? What round here? Yeah. If we're going in some bungalows, it'd be a lot of like old people, carers and things. Yeah. Kids so, so not be met maybe so many kids up there, but this side there will be, so yeah. it's a different kind of road user. Yeah. So old people coming around, are they are they vulnerable road users, do you think? <laughs> Just for this one, so you can feel free. Yeah, they are. Well, they are. But, you know, as, as we get older, our reaction's slow. How's the hearing for some of these people? Will they be able to hear you coming? How about the, the sight? So what might you need to do? Expect the unexpected. Mm. If you if you look at so you, you've already got an yes, idea. Uh, you quite really don't want to be here just but you know that people who live there, their reaction time and their eyesight and their hearing is probably not as good as the kids who live up here. Yeah. But thinking about kids, what do they do? Run on through. They don't think about it, do they? No. So you've got to take into account all manner of things. Um, 
and you can see the differences that, that, that people might have. And if you're not sure about something, what do you think you should do? Stop. Yeah. If we get halfway around and a car comes up behind you, what might you do then? Right halfway around that yeah. corner. Carry on around the corner, I won't carry on going far. It, ju it just depends, doesn't it? It depends on what you see um, and what they're going to do. So if you think, oh, we did it, was it a, a white van last week where you just made eye contact with them mm. and it let in, or you were oh, waiting yeah. for him to do something? Same thing here, but sometimes you can get eye contact, sometimes you can't. What impact does the weather have today? Apart from me having to speak quite a lot louder because the rain is so heavy. It's, uh, it is it's a distraction, isn't it? What does it do to your visibility? Well, my mirrors decided really. Hardly any it's difficult to What does it do with the pedestrian's visibility? What do you do when you're walking in the rain? <laughs> you're not watching where you're going in. <laughs> so that, that's something else to have a think about. You never thought about it like that. But yeah, you do. You don't look as much as you would. Well, you know, when people look at... Before you learn to drive, when you're, when you're looking at other drivers, you look at them and think, that looks dead easy, but there's a lot going on. And I think about all these things, but we're coming up with all the right answers, which is tremendous. You get questions. We're saying that it's not busy, but it's getting quite busy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's normally really quiet. But we'll, we'll gauge that as we go along. If it becomes too busy, then we'll abort and go somewhere else. So, what I'd like you to do, do you want, do you want to chat about it more or do you want to have a go? Um, just, just go. Okay, so we'll drive past, over to the side of the road, reverse back in, and then back out this way. Without stalling. Well, if possible, it doesn't really matter. So, how much help do you want from me? Any or not? Let's see if I can do it first time. Okay, fair enough. The shop's back that way. Over the observation. All right, wait and see what the taxi will do. Okay, I'll shut up then. I'll shut up. <laughs> I thought you were shaped up to stop the houses. That would be my fault. Really. The rain makes it difficult to hear what's going on as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Same white van. No, definitely not. Right, do I need to indicate here? What do you think? Just indicate right. No, I wouldn't bother. Okay. Can we get into the curb yet? Have a look over your right shoulder. What do you think? Mm, just yet. Yeah.
and while we're doing that, you know, let's get a bit close to the curve. Has it, has it, has it worked? On it. Yeah. Just no. need it. Oh. But I think I'll, I know what to do. Which was? On it! It's fine. It's not handwritten you Let's examine how that went. How was your observation as you did the exercise? Alright. How was your control? Alright, apart from the last bit. But do you know what it was? It really is strange going from a different corner to a different corner. Mm. And I went that too much, mm -hmm. but I thought I would just go in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? When you look round there, you think, oh, and then you look and you think, oh, so it is. So what, what can you do to help with that? So it's the, it's the accuracy that's the I think the it's just practice. Okay. You, you nearly got that right. <laughs> Apart from last bit. Did it get round it all right? You tell me. Yeah. Were you the same distance from the kerb? Just about all the way around? Just about. If you have a look forward as well, well let, let, let's get it into perspective here. You look forward, how easy is it to see the curb here? Yeah? Well, well, it's not. It's not. What's causing you the problem? That bit's dip there. Oh yeah, there's a dip in there and it's full of water, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So... It'd be you, a you, lot easier to see if it were just uh, If it was a dry day, it would. Because if it was a dry day, what would you do to help you there? Do you think? Come on back. What? I'd, but, I'd look a curb. Yeah, you put your head out the window, couldn't you? <laughs> Would you do that? Yeah, yeah why not? Be allowed, uh, yeah, why not? Then it's dead easy because you can actually see what's happening. Now, we've come round there, 95% of the way, bang on. We've, we've just come a bit close at the end, haven't we? But it's, you know, you're, you're this far away instead of this far away. Mm -hmm. So, what, what might make a difference this time? Back around, how would that go? Get the precision right, like yeah. returning. I just turned too much. You adjusted, but we just didn't quite get it exactly. And did I right. need to get any closer to curb when I thought I was? I, don't, I wouldn't have said so, right. but I know I know you like to be really precise. So give yourself a bit more margin for error. So I mean, you know, so what, what's happened here at the end? It's, it's that you're not keen on, you're a bit close to the curb. Did anybody die? No. <laughs> so in the grand scheme of things, it's not that important. That was your first attempt at that. How much instruction did you receive on it? You told me what to do. Did I? No, actually, not while we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. So, to get this close to being right, on a first attempt, without any instruction and sorting it all out yourself, I think is uh, pretty good to be fair. <laughs> so don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, that was very nearly bang on for a first attempt and that very rarely happens. Ask your friends if they got it right first go, if they got it even remotely close to being right on the first go. Shall we try a different corner? Yeah. We'll go off to the left and see if we can find another one. Well done. So, Not hot, not hot. Yeah, of course we can. A bit warm. Probably on a day like this, you've got to have a little bit of warm air to keep the windows clear. Yeah. Try and regulate it so it's just nice. So of course, if you get in with when you're wet, it instantly steams the windows up. But this time, if we follow the road ahead, which is the second exit, that's well done. You didn't give you a choice there, did you? She. <laughs> Who had priority there? Me. Well, it's not priority, is it? Yeah, well, we had priority. They should have given us. It's we not, didn't have right of way. It's not called priority, is it? Yeah, we talk about oh, priority now. Priority we don't have right, right of way. Away, yeah. So we'll take the second exit. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so not this one, next one. That's the one. And then we'll see if we can find a corner reverse around down here.
How was that in terms of smoothness? Pull away in the gear changer. There is, if, and if there's no parked cars around it, we might be lucky. We're going too slow. No, no, this is fine. There yeah, there is. So what we'll do is we'll just stop here. And we'll have a little look at the situation. So this is the one we can use. Is it safe, legal, convenient? I like this one better, although it is a bit uphill, so well, it's a bit of a challenge. It, it is a little bit more of a challenge. So again, before you start, you've done the right thing. Have a proper look. You've worked out that it's uphill down. What else is there that might affect you? There's a dip. There is. Which makes it, and again, curve. there's and a lot of water there. it's not as visible as the other one around kind of that big edge. That's the other good. one won, it were more. And it's slightly, is it slightly? Higher that corner. Though. It is, it is. So, again, a little bit more of a challenge. Things to take into consideration as we're going to pull up on the other side of the road. How far forward will you go? Well, before that burgundy car, because I'd then. Would I be blocking her? If you're too far forward, you would, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shall we have a go? until I get that pipe. Okay. Oh god I can feel it. It's, it's gonna be hard. Be a little bit more a bit more challenging from a clutch control point of view. What might you be able to do to help here? Are we going uphill downhill? Shall I put the accelerator on? We'll try that to see how it works. What would you say? I probably would. If it was me doing it I would probably use a bit of gas here. Smidgen or a lot? Um, somewhere between the two. A lively hum. Brum brum. But I'll let, I'll let you find a feel for it because you do have a good feel. That's well adjusted. Excellent. side of the road? No. Are we? Well, look how narrow the road is. So mm. you're tucked in, which is what's required. It's, we're not, see where the grade is? 
you want to be about that far away, this side of the grain. Okay. And I think that's about where you are, isn't it? So we're not, we're not parking, we're just manoeuvring to turn the other direction. So, let me ask you that time, how was your accuracy? Did you stay the same distance all the way around? Did I? More or less, did, yes. did you? I think so. Were you in control of it? Yeah. If you have a look, you've come up quite a steep hill there, you know. I know I rolled a little bit, but I started out. But you adjusted immediately. Um, so, if you were going to mark it out of 10, and I'll let you be hard on yourself this time. Accuracy, 1 to 10. 7. Okay. Observation, 1 to 10. I thought I, 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 knew I, I knew there were two, two cars that went down. Okay. You didn't stop when they came down. It's okay. Well, what, what, what did you base your I decision on? I was going slow enough mm -hmm. to stop. Was there room for them to get past? Yeah. Okay. Made the right decision. You're aware of what's there, you've decided upon it. And how was your control? Alright, I think. Okay. Uh, seven. A seven, okay. It's interesting. It's good. What would it take to make higher scores? Um, more practice, but that were quite hard to say that were a, a bit of a steep, not steep, but not flat. Well, oh, that were good. it's added. Yes, it was. <laughs> We've added a layer of complexity there on on the one before, um, which I wouldn't. My instinct would normally be to shy away from that because you think, mm, is that making things too complicated? But I went with my good feeling there because I, I know how good your clutch control is. I thought, well, you'll be able to cope with it, and you did, which is great. Shall we see if we can find a different one? Different or are you happy to leave that for another time? Um, why, what else is it to do? Um, well, what we could do is, just thinking about, because of the conditions, maybe if we did a bit of just general junction work, so you can get used to... Because it is difficult driving in it this is. kind of condition. Your visibility is reduced, <coughs> the noise level is increased, uh, and the rain's getting harder and harder, so it might just be a chance just to practice some general driving in these kind of conditions. Yeah. Or we can just try some more manoeuvres. We are going to come back to doing this again. Oh, yeah. So just you... try driving in this. Okay. Shall we head off to the left? The more practice I get with doing junctions better. Yeah. yeah. It never hurts. Have you seen those shoes up there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you suppose the story is there? I have no idea. <laughs> Is that somebody being bullied on the way home from school, I suspect, which is terrible, really. Oh! Can't say it's, it's not something you see often, is it? Trainers hanging on a telegraph line. <laughs> There's a, obviously a story attached. Are we going this way, sorry? Yes, please, yeah. in terms of particular, like that last junction there where you've got the high hedges and stuff, does this weather affect what you do there? Say that again. The, 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 how, what does the weather do to, to things at a junction like that? That's not, probably not a very good question. Um, does it make your observation easier or harder? This weather makes it harder. So will you, what will you do to account for that perhaps? We'll take this. I'd say be more observant, but you'd be as observant as you would be in any weather, mm. wouldn't you? Well, yeah, but it, it's it's giving you, again giving yourself the time to do it. We'll take the second exit from the right bit. Do you know where I'm taking the second exit? Do I still have to go right? No indicator on the way in. If you're going past twelve o'clock, you would indicate right on the way in. So it just means that you've. You've perhaps got to be a little bit more aware or a little bit more alert um, because your visibility is reduced, especially when the rain's this heavy. You might even take, you know, you're looking right and left before you go on, you might even take an extra check each way. If it was, you know, yeah. this, this is affecting your visibility. Uh, I'll start that again. This is affecting your visibility the way it is now, but if it was a bit misty as well, that's it again. You just take the right amount of observations, basically, mm. for the situation that you find yourself in. Let's go. Let's go. Now 
not like you can do, you're already in the gap. And if we go up to the roundabout, and then turn them in the first exit, we'll come back down the back of here. That's good, you're ready for it. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to stop at night, but it's When did you know that? I just knew. He was quite a long way back, yeah. wasn't it? It was obvious, wasn't it? You could tell by the way he positioned himself. The puddles are getting worse. Am I going too slow? I just... How do you feel? Does it feel a bit slow? Do you I think we can make a bit more progress? Come on, then. I should know. I don't know because I'm coming up to the roundabout and I don't want to stress about changing Good. gear. I will be anyway because I'll probably stop at this roundabout because I'll just get busier than the other one. Just depends on it. We'll go first exit. You possibly could have gone up the third and then back down the second. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so if the learner driver in that situation is stressing, it's less likely to go right. Mm. I, I don't know, because it doesn't bother me with people. Sometimes it bothers, like, drivers with other cars around you and, you know, get more. I don't think... I don't know what they're doing. Well, there's nothing... Uh, nothing you can do about what they're going to do. All you can do is what you're going to do. So that's an interesting situation, isn't it? You've made the right decision based on what was around you. Okay, well done. We'll go left of the right. right. Oh, no, we're just left them. Courteous drivers. That's good. Right, That's go. good. We can go through. Left. Yes, please. Come that way, it? We can't get past him, no. <laughs> That's oh, good. So, you've made the right decisions. Uh, just uh, the only thing I'd, I put perhaps as a discussion point was you say, Yeah, I've let two through. <laughs> no, I know. Nobody else is coming. No. <laughs> you based your decisions on what was happening around you. Um, and it's. It becomes obvious, doesn't it, by the the body language of the other vehicles for what they're going to do. Yeah. You can tell the ones that are coming through and the ones that are going to wait. Mm. Which is good. It's good. All part of the decision making process. Where am I going now? We'll go. Sorry, we'll go left at the end. I always seem to be going left. Well, it's a, it's a lovely. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Well, this is a lovely practice. Look. I would have stalled then if I'd have stopped. I mean, no, I would have. You'd have adjusted. <laughs> this is a lovely little left-hand loop practice because if you go around here, you know you're always going to come across something. Yeah. You know you're going to meet other traffic, <laughs> and there's going to be situations to be dealt with. So we talked about perhaps going a bit quicker last time. Should we try that? That too quick. No. You think? Oh. Feels okay to me. How does it feel to you? Have you got time to do what you need to do? 
I have in this speed, but I'm not really going any faster than what I was before. No, uh, oh, would a bit quicker. What's the speed limit here? Uh, okay, how fast are we going? Like, uh, 17. Okay. No? Yeah? Keep thinking it wrong. Yeah, that's right. It confuses them too. <laughs> That's your rent, isn't it? It that is. So we'll go left again down the same road. See if we can meet some other stuff. Can you go? I don't like it because that this can just like fly out of there, can't they? They can, but if we're carrying a bit of momentum in there, we can probably carry on round and get out of the way. So that's the beauty around, but they do give you the opportunity to do that. Left, did you say? Yes, please. So what we're, we're always looking for opportunities to go at roundabouts particularly, rather than opportunities to stop. Mm. What do you think is happening here? It's a, uh, what do they call it? Reverse parking. Reverse parking. So what should we do? Just try around it. Okay. With our own. Yeah. Well, he's, he's the one manoeuvring, so he should wait for us. I'm sure he's instructed on helping the right, make the right decisions. Time to get through, what do you think or not? That's good. And he was nice and said thank you. But again, he was shaping enough to come through regardless, wasn't he? Yeah. So again, we'll go left to the roundabout. And again, he's weird, isn't he? Now we've tucked in his change his mind. So it's, we need to give them a, a message with our body language too, don't we? I don't want to roll back, Mr. Missed... I don't know why I'm waving at him in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, why are you waving? He bullied his way through. <laughs> so we've been able to see from the other car's body language what they're going to do. So can we pass messages, do you think, with our body language to this? What we do with the car? Well, if I took him to let him go. Yeah. Well, if so I carried on, he'd have let me go. Yeah, that's it. Exactly right. So do you want to do another left hand loop or do you want to do a right hand loop? Uh, right hand loop. Okay, at the end of the road, turn right. Okay. judgments on what you can see and what you feel is the right thing to do. How was that? Take on too long. <coughs> I think sometimes turning right there might be a little easier because the view opens up a little earlier. At the roundabout. to the road to the right, it's the fourth exit. So because we're going past 12 o'clock. Can you go there? Yeah. There you go. So you're able to make that decision. Right, sorry. Yes, I've please. Got... So the signal to the right till we get past the third exit, which is this one, and then we'll signal to the left. So your view opens up really quite early at roundabouts. What on some roundabouts? This one in particular it does. That's excellent. And then up to the roundabout, down to the right again. Do that right hand loop. Go up to the roundabout and then go back down where that's coming from. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. So you can sometimes get. Probably once you've got past this van, you'll start to get a view to the right. It's only a long way, isn't it? I know I'll be all there, but... Can we go? Good call. Okey-doke, this is going to be hard. It is. What might help you, do you think? There you go. 
going this way. Oh, I'm going that. Don't be too fast. A little bit far. more gas. That's it. Well done, you're well held. Ah. So, deep breath. I don't want to go. What might help you this time? He needs to be away from me because I don't want to. He's a little close, so. Well, I've got you covered, don't, don't forget. Yeah. A bit more gas. Take a bit more time. Well done. That's it, I've got you. Oh my god, I'm so stressing. Should we just let them go? No, it's okay. You can't get past, so just take a deep breath. Start again, I've got you covered. A little bit more gas, take a bit more time for the clutch. You'll just have to wait. A bit more gas. Go on, a bit more. That's it. Then get it the way you feel comfortable, and then we'll let go of the handbrake. I've got you covered. Well done. It is. Let's do it. A bit more gas. Well done. Excellent. Cool under pressure. Panicking. Proper panicking. <laughs> <coughs> but it's it's difficult when somebody's that close behind you to focus on what you need to do because it's like, oh my god, if I roll back here. It's gonna yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did really bad then. Not really. Stayed calm. We got through it. <laughs> Nobody died. He should have been so close, it trust me to watch. Well, that's exactly it, isn't it? He doesn't know who you are. He doesn't know your clutch control's that good. It's not. I've just stalled like twice, didn't ah, I? Ah, but we didn't roll back, did we? You, it went wrong, but you, you corrected. You know, you did what needed to be done. Did you put handbrake on, uh, brake on straight away, or what it mean? No, no, it was, it was you. Oh. But you probably felt the my first. foot hit it. I went for it the same time as you. <laughs> we'll go right again, so you're another driver in that loop. Oh, God. But if you ever think, that's... A steeper hill than you've pulled away on before. That's really steep. Mm. Yeah. So it's at the same. Do you want to go around the same loop? Let's try and do that again. Okay. Excellent one. Well so we're just adding extra bits, extra complexity each time, and it's a learning experience. So as we go back round to that junction, what might you do different this time? Stop. Obviously, I might have to stop. No matter what's coming, I'm not stopping. <laughs> oh, God. This shook me up that. I didn't want to crash into him. I know you weren't going to let me, but. Well, it's still a stressful thing, isn't it? You know, it, 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 not something that we're worrying about. It's something we can easily fix. We can see how other road users can kind of get in your face a bit and all the decision making. Things start to get hurried and what well, we already know the priority things are less likely to succeed. Same song there. So as you can see, it's a little bit steeper than we've, we've done before. Mm. Off you go, you're ready. What, what made it successful last time? More gas. Yep. More power because we're going to go. No, it's time to be slow. Yourself was it successful? Excellent. How was that? 
Oh, because I don't have to stop. <laughs> we, stopped a little bit further down. <laughs> we did stop a bit further down, though, didn't we? Uh, was that successful? Yeah. It was. Well, there's a nice hill down there. We can go and do a couple of practices on if you want. If that yeah. Feels good. We'll take the next one. Left then, please. It's difficult, isn't it? And of course, the rain and all the other bits of pieces. It's still on a hill, so it's just kind of practical. Well, it is, it is. So once you're on the new road, if we just pull over on the left. Again, trust yourself. straight off again. This hill. It was did we roll back? Tiny bit. I it up. You did. You did well done. Right, left, sorry. Straight ahead this time. Second exit. Cool beans. Didn't take yourself home. Never said oh yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so panicky. <laughs> Well, it's that when things start to go a little wrong, your heart rate picks up. God, yeah. Which gives you that sort of fluttery thing, and your tongue gets dry and feels like it's swelling up. We'll have a chat about that one get the end. There's things you can do when you get that feeling that can help. And left at the end of Like, you know where you live. <laughs> See you doing it. <laughs> I shouldn't rely on you. You know what I mean? Well, we're building skills all the time. It's, you know, it's like the like the blind spot thing. I used to always have a quick check. But because what you're now no longer thinking about these control skills while you're moving off and stop, you remember to do your blind spot. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, that's, that's part of it. At this stage in the game, we're sharing the risk between us, if you like. And the more experienced you become, the more responsibility for the risk you take. But that's all part of the game. Oh, no, what, there to be loads of cars and be like... <laughs> <laughs> 
And does Because I would slow down here just in case anybody's coming out of those. Yeah. But a lot of time, my dad says not to. And well, like either his in driving instructor never taught her to. You've got to be... You see, your local knowledge tells you... Oh, we are going to be perfect, aren't we? That's it. <laughs> no, I'm better off doing that in first. It's oh, fine okay. going a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry. <laughs> well, quite the perfectionist. A little bit closer. Your local knowledge here tells you that people sometimes just rip round that corner yeah. without looking at them and thinking they cut across the corner. So it's natural to sort of slow down, really. And I, I think it's a, a a bloke versus woman thing. Women tend to be more careful in those yeah. situations than blokes do. Blokes tend to be a bit, and I am as well, a bit, a bit more cavalier. So, you, you know, for me to be a safe driver, I've got to fight those tendencies. The testosterone is what causes it. Mm. Where women tend to be a bit more cautious and they think about the consequences of their actions. Gen generally, I hate to generalise, but generally more than blokes do. Mm. Well, you, you know this. That's, mm. that's you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, when, you know, when you get that, that sort of <gasps> feel, when things aren't going quite right, and you start to feel a little panicky, it's probably brought on by the fact something's gone wrong, so that sets in, you know, like, oh, oh God. And you forget to breathe, and while you're, and while you're really? doing that, yeah, everybody does. What? The one thing people forget to do when they're manoeuvring as well, when you're concentrating really hard, you stop breathing, you go, that sort of thing. Um, and because you've had a little bit of a thing that makes you, not flat, but makes you get rattled, your heart rate picks up, which makes you produce adrenaline, which makes your heart rate pick up, <laughs> which makes you produce, and the, the cycle can go on and on and on, and you can drop into a panic if you don't control it. Um, That's that, me, right. <laughs> Just said somebody thought, oh, no, I haven't turned my phone off. Um, the thing to do is to introduce, just introduce some air. Not a deep breath, but just in and out the same amount. It's a great coping strategy for exams, you for job interviews. You just said that though, you did, like breathe. Yeah, just take, just take a breath. breathe. It focuses your mind on something else other than the fact that you've made a mistake. And it is just a mistake, you know, nobody died. Um, the thing we've got to do is to try and and this is what makes good drivers. Good drivers are good decision makers. So if you take the time to get the decision right, you'll get it right first time rather than try and hurry it and get it wrong twice yeah. and then right. But that's very easy for me to say. <laughs> but the, the beauty of it is that even the, the bits and pieces that, that, that didn't go exactly the way we wanted, you were still adjusting. All of the, You didn't quite catch it. You, you went to adjust it. Just didn't quite catch it in time. As you gain experience, you get better at doing that. Then you will catch it every time. We did some work on the, on the little bit that caused the problem. Did it cause you a problem? No, we stopped them, did it? Oh, fine, because it took the time. Mm. And they were harder hills, so it's, it's all... It's very similar, I've done right. It's all progressing in the right direction. Should we check, see if we met our targets? Mm. Come on. No. Get there. <laughs> Reversing to... Oh, wrong one. To right. It's very similar to the ones that we had here. Um, slight reverse gear, prepare your car to move and position yourself to take effect of the observation. But you might those. Okay. Slight reverse gear, prepare my car to move and position myself to take effective observations through the rear window and still maintain steering control. Yep. Cool. What about the next one? Take effective all round observations, including blind spots. Yeah. You brum and do and all. Coordinate controls in order to maintain the speed equivalent to a slow walking pace. Well, that's an interesting one. We talk about a slow walking pace. Can you go slower than that? Me in a mm, car? Yeah. Can you? Can can you? How fast do you reckon you're travelling? I don't know, because you walk quicker than what I were doing. Mm. So slower. You can you can you can do it way slower than that and you can you can kind of micro adjust as well which is really cool even slower yep. cool pause occasionally yeah good good make fine steering adjustments to keep constant distance from the curb yeah yeah on the last attempt remember not the first one mm. although the first one was pretty good <laughs> respond correctly to all the road users Reverse a reasonable distance into the new road so that I can safely move off. Yeah. Cool. Now there's a a, a question or a, or a discussion point there. When I asked you about the observation and stuff, you knew the two cars were there. How did you know? 
That's cinnamon milk. No. Mm. Anything else it told you? Are you heard them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. How didn't you get that one an answer then? So, if you were doing that manoeuvre, you know, you're forced to do it because you had to turn around somewhere. Uh, and it was in a really quiet area. What could you do if your visibility was reduced to maybe help you? Well, you said that you heard them. Well, would you open the windows to make it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's easier to hear them. You're going to get all work. Not when, not in the rain, <laughs> but on a dry. So that's something you could do. Yeah. Which would make you inherently safer because you're going to hear what's happening. You might also hear kids laughing and joking and running about. So, so we, we use all of our senses, so, which is why I wanted to ask you, because I knew you knew they were there. And then when I asked you, you said, yeah, because I thought, well, di did you know or not? Then I asked you, you said, oh, there was two cars there. So, well, you didn't know. So you, you heard them before you saw them. Mm -hmm. Great. I did. Cool. So, in terms of success, how do you think that went? It was all right, that one. Okay. I'm too hard on myself. Apart from that, but then I, I keep, I need to keep remembering that. I've never done that before. So it's so it was alright. It's I mean it's nice because you, you know you do like a challenge which is great, um, and it's the the key thing is it, it does. I mean we chatted about it at the start, didn't we? It doesn't matter if it goes wrong. It's do we learn it from it? Yeah. Um, you know each time things go wrong that way we analyse it or or rather I get you to analyse it and everything works okay. Mm -hmm. Provisional plan for next time. You want to carry on doing the manoeuvre route? Yeah, try the bay parking yeah. perhaps. We'll probably... Parking, I don't think I'm going to be good at. Do you? Um, yeah. Do I think you're going to be good at it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think you're going to be very good at it. It's all about control and but, yeah, but I don't want to put that pressure on you. I think you'd be brilliant. Um, the place I normally use for that's near where you work. We could choose a different location, if you like. Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't mind. Okay. But we can have a look if, if it be you know if everybody starts coming out of where you work and standing in a crowd watching you will maybe move. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have a look at it. It's all using the same skills. All we can do turn on the road. It doesn't really matter which way around those. We may get the chance to maybe even do both of them. Mm -hmm. um, but they're all about control, observation, and accuracy. And you're looking for more or less the same thing. So anything you might be able to do in between that would help you prepare for that thing. Um. Watch this. Okay. It always helps me. Good, good, good. I don't know when you put you put it on the list straight away. Don't you? I try and get them up the same day if I can. <coughs> um, so I'll be doing that, but I, I might go home for a little lie down today. Mm. Put the bag of my hand on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna look through a workbook. Okay. I might watch the DVD. I'm okay. practicing my theory because I've got that coming. I was soon. just going to ask you, how's that going? You might want to mention any dates and stuff so that it doesn't go public. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm. Uh, I passed twice last night. Excellent. And I failed once. Okay. On my phone. Right. So, have you got an idea about what you need to do? The bits that you fail, the bits that you get right with, that, that's great. Oh, so, yeah, uh, yeah. So you know where, where but you But I'm doing an MVQ at work as well, aren't I? So I'm doing, oh, I've nice. got like homework and stuff to do with that as well, but <laughs> that's my priority, is my... Uh, my, uh, my well, the nice thing is, I mean, without wanting to pressurise it, you know, if we get that out of the way, we'll get a test booked, and then they, then we'll cook up my gas, and we're going to really, yeah. like, and crank things up. And, um, and what we'll look to do then is, once we've got the test date, then we'll just say, right, here's the number of lessons we think we're going to need. Let's just slot all those in as we as we run up to tests. So we've got like to clear. Absolutely. Um, the only day I could get it was that, that, was that particular day on the fine. Saturday. It's okay. They, want, they didn't have any available for Mondays. Well, you had your and, days off. Yeah. And then I've only got Mondays and Saturdays off. So. That's cool. That's fine.